Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have filmed a sit down video. I have my little uh, munchkin right here. <laughs> That's Maxton if you're new here. He is five and a half months old. He's obviously going to join us during this video. But um, today I am going to do a like a what to pack in your hospital bag for labor and delivery. And this is my second baby. I have a three-year-old daughter. And so I thought I would just share it with you all. Obviously he's five and a half months old, so I don't have like the items right here with me or in my bag with me, but I did, like I had a list, like the last time I updated this was like April 11th, so three days before he was born. And I shared this with like my friends, um, whatever. So yeah, I thought that I would go ahead and share it with you. I want to show you my bag that I took. So here's the bag. It's just like an average size double bag. It has the straps where you can, or it has the strap or you can just use it like that. I actually found this in the Target clearance section. I think it was like $20, which is amazing. I can see if I can try and find a similar one to link for you guys, but I was like really stressing that I was gonna have to spend like $50 on a bag. So I was very excited about this find. And I think we took this bag and then his diaper bag and then that was about it. And then we just took, I think my husband went out and got the car seat or we either took it in because obviously we had him during all the COVID. So there are different protocols that we had to follow but I do believe, I believe that we were able to go out and get the car seat because my husband went and got me Freddy's after <laughs> I had him. But anyway, we were there for a whole day. We had him at 3.52 in the morning. So we went in on like a Wednesday night and then we got to leave Friday morning. So if that gives you an idea of just like time length for all of these items, um, he said I have like different categories, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. This is kind of a, like I tried to stay as simple as possible as possible because like I said, this was my second baby and with my first one, I definitely packed like way more, but also I would rather, I like, I'd much rather be safe than sorry. And so, I mean, if you overpack, like I wouldn't stress about it. Like it's a very exciting time you want to make sure that you have everything and so especially with COVID because I know sometimes they won't let your significant other leave or whatever and people can't come in and out for you so I mean once again better safe than sorry I think but okay so for my my bag I have little titles so for clothing I had a nightgown and I think the nightgown is referring to I bought the Freedom Mom labor and delivery gown. That way I could wear that instead of the hospital one, which obviously isn't a necessity, but um, it was nice. It was comfier. So that is what I initially put on once I got to the hospital. What is that? What is that? So that is what I put on and I wore that while I had him. It has like slots for the monitors and all of that stuff um, slippers which I just took like some cheap Amazon like white knockoff Birkenstock looking things socks underwear nursing bras um, a going home outfit which for the going home outfit I think I wore like leggings and then just a tank top and then a simple cardigan I had him mid-April, so the weather was pretty nice, which was amazing. And then just a comfy lounge set. So honestly, just like pajamas. I think my lounge set that I got was from Target. What are you doing? So just like a loose short and tank top set or honestly, um, whatever. Oh, the nightgown. Okay, I remember which nightgown. So I had the Freedom Mom labor and delivery um, gown, but I also took a gown that is from Target. I think it was it was pink and white. I will leave it linked below for you guys. 
I think I actually ordered it from Amazon. I'm not sure. I'll leave everything that I can linked to below for you guys. <laughs> but anyway, um, headphones, which I did not end up using. I had my second like natural birth with no medication, whatever. And if you've ever had one of those, um, I was just trying to survive and get through it. So I did not take the time to put in any headphones. That was on my list. If you do want to listen to like a podcast or have a birthing playlist, you can listen to music, um, chapstick. That is very important because your lips will get dry, especially if you have like a winter baby or something. Hair ties, very important. I would pack a couple extra because I lose these guys like crazy, even when I'm not having a baby. And I just said like a makeup bag where I just had like simple makeup, like mascara, some concealer, um, makeup removal, like my makeup removing wipes, moisturizer, which I don't even think I used, um, face wash if you want, lotion. Once again, it also depends on how long you're staying there because even though this was my second baby, I have some items on here that I'm thinking about that I did not use. But once again, it definitely depends on um, like each person and your preferences and how long you're gonna be there and whatever. And also better safe than sorry. Like I would have much rather had these items and been able to use them then being like oh no like i wish i would have brought these um glasses contacts contact solution contact case i am very blind <laughs> without my contacts or glasses so that would have been a huge bummer if i would have like lost a contact and i couldn't even like hardly see my baby <laughs> so that was definitely on my list um a comfy blanket and pillow I actually ordered our blanket from, I was seeing if it was on the couch, but I don't see it, from Amazon. I'll leave it linked below. My husband actually slept with it, and I think that I actually used it right after I had him on the hospital bed. It is warm, y'all. Like, I remember after having him, though, like, it was just, it was really weird. Like, I was, like, shaking, and, like, I was freezing. Like, I was shivering. Like, my teeth were chattering. It was insane. Maybe that's just like an after baby number two thing. I don't know. But this blanket, like I would put it on and then I'd be like sweating. Like it was crazy. But we took that and then, I'm sorry, I'm talking so fast. I don't want this to be super long, but obviously I want to like inform y'all. Um, we took that and then just like one of our pillows. I think we took two pillows um, off of our bed just for my husband to have and then myself rather than the hospital ones. Um, hairbrush obviously snacks 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 this was super important for us because this was one of the mistakes we made with um, our first baby my daughter we did not pack enough and we like bought them way before she was born so then we like ate them all before we were even at the hospital and so I remember like the night after having her I was like starving and so definitely snacks especially now once again with COVID I don't know whether you'll be able to leave or your significant other can leave, whatever. And I mean, I'm sure they have vending machines so you can just take cash or whatever, but I would definitely pack snacks. I think on here I have like granola bars, Jolly Ranchers, beef jerky, mixed nuts. Um, I have some energy drinks on the list for like my husband. He likes the rains. Oh my, excuse you. Um, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash for both me and my husband, obviously. Deodorant for both of us. Um, on here I have diffuser with the oils lavender, clary sage, mint, orange blossom, peace and calming, and then gentle baby, which I'm not going to lie, I did not use my diffuser, but if you're into that and you have like a longer birth or whatever, you can definitely do that. Um, my husband's massage gun, we like have one of those, um, I don't even know, you like can put different types of things onto it to like pinpoint different muscles or something. I don't know. We got it from Amazon. I can try and link a similar one for you guys because I don't think it's like available still. I don't know. But I've definitely seen like cheaper ones on there. So I will leave it linked below. But I know like when you're laboring, like your back, well, mine anyway, like 
it's a lot and so i was like that is a great idea because sometimes when you're going through all that like my husband just isn't getting the spot in my bag that like i need him to and it's just like a lot and so i was like that is a good idea so i put that on my list and now finally we are on to um my baby bag so i think we just did that in I put his stuff basically in my bag that I showed you all or his diaper bag. So obviously car seat, car seat cover, and then I got him a little sound machine to hook up to his car seat. It's like a little cloud that changed colors. It's not on there anymore. I think the batteries like ran out, but it will be linked below. Hi, handsome boy. But what do you got? What are you doing on your mouth? And then clothing for him, kept it really, minimal mittens like those little things to put on their um hands so they don't scratch themselves socks sleeper going home outfit and then his announcement outfit that we like took his photos in so i remember for my daughter <laughs> i brought people told me they were like you're not gonna need newborn clothes like she's not gonna fit them so y'all i didn't take any newborn clothing i think i took like this like those sleep sacks where like their feet go in um it was just needless to say it was a mess like none of her clothes fit i only had like the gown thing and then obviously i never thought when you go to put her in the car seat that gown thing is not ideal because <laughs> her feet aren't out so you have to like ride it up there it was a mess so needless to say this time i took newborn clothing because he was eight too and he still fit in the newborn clothes um but like just i don't know that's why i'm like so keen on like listen to yourself like do what feels best for you <laughs> but yeah this time i stuck with minimal clothing and i made sure to bring what i thought was going to work and then i took this the little circle thing that has like you can write their information like their name the like their weight that they were when they were born all that fun stuff so i took that it had his name on it and then all his birth info I brought one swaddle and then I think I brought one birth cloth and then one blanket because obviously the hospital has like everything else which is one thing that I didn't really like understand or want to like grasp with my first baby because I just wanted to bring it all. I was like oh my god I'm having a baby this is so exciting like let me bring all the diapers all the wipes everything but this time I was like nope we're gonna take as much as we can from the hospital with us. So, and that was that. And then basically for my husband, he took like gym shorts, t-shirt, socks, underwear, and phone chargers. And I mean, that was that. And so, like I said, this time we tried to keep it so like minimal and simple. And we had like two bags to take up. We didn't have like an entire like closet or like household to take up and so it was it was great and it was easy we had it packed probably at like 38 weeks i went into labor at 39 and three days and i think i packed i did not pack it at 38 weeks okay i packed it literally like three or four days before <laughs> beforehand second baby problems or maybe just me i don't know but that is my list hopefully it helps someone um whether you're a new mom or whatever hopefully it also lets you know that you can be super super simple with it and you're still going to be okay like i promise you they have mostly everything that you need and i also promise you that you probably won't end up using half the stuff on your list like i always want to like pack extra and like whatever i'm like oh i'm totally gonna use it and then i don't like I waited to bathe until I got home. I only put like minimal makeup on before we went home. Um, I basically stayed in the nightgown the entire time until we went home. So I promise you don't need it all. Like he basically stayed swaddled like the um, entire time, especially because the nurses will like grab them and take them back to run tests on them. And so you can keep it simple promise and then when you at home you have it all there for you and definitely grab what you can from the hospital but then also be cautious because of everything 
going on right now. I'm not sure whether you like you have to decide if you feel comfortable taking stuff from the hospital right now just with the pandemic and everything. But yeah, that is my list. Like I said, I will try to leave everything linked below that I can. I'll see if I can find like a similar bag to this to link for you guys and as always if you have any other questions feel free to comment below or message me hi i have my instagram linked below so i know there are quite a few of you that are new here so make sure you connect with me over there i post a lot more just like throughout our day and whatnot but yeah i'm so glad you're here and i hope you will choose to stick around I believe my next video will be up on Friday. I'm trying I'm trying to post around like one to three-ish, like 12 to four. So that is most likely gonna be my new like upload time frame. And we're aiming for two to three times a week and it'll probably be Monday, Wednesdays, or Fridays. So we will see you all on Friday. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to give this bit <laughs> this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and y'all I was gonna clean up for y'all but this is my this is real this is real life and it's like my baby is um five and a half months and he is fully mobile and so this is life he is now, when my daughter's sleeping, I used to clean, but now I can't because he just gets everything out. So there's literally no point, but okay. I will see you all Friday.